Hi, I'm Kevin. Ben. Xander. Ryan. Kelly. Meg. And this is Under the Table, a show about a group of friends getting together to play some board games. However, our specific twist on it is that all but one of us are going to be extremely drunk. So basically, it's a bunch of drunken shenanigans while one of us tries to soberly push the game through to the end. So, gather around the board, put some bourbon in your Yahtzee cup, and let's see who ends up Under, under the, the Table. table. Our first game of the night is Short Order Heroes, put out by Calico Games. This is a character building card game that can be used one of two ways, to help supplement a D&D game to help you build a character, or play it as a card game on its own. Tonight, we're gonna use it as a card game on its own. To make a character, you draw three cards from the deck and it has descriptors on them. That helps you to make your character. So I have young, stubborn, and wicked. So I'm a freshman in high school who's a sociopath. That's just what I decided. Each person has their own character and you have a storyteller that puts you through a game. You complete challenges by drawing cards to tell if you succeed or lose. Very simple. Oh, I board. can't do it. So all of us have pulled cards to be our characters and we are ready to begin. So our story starts in a town like many other towns, <laughs> except this one has superheroes in it. <gasps> My no way. Now, exactly what's gonna happen is in this town, the government finds out about superheroes when they're young. All of our players are going to be high school students, friends from the local high school. They have been recruited because they believe they have superpowers. As our game opens, they are sitting in the waiting room of the local government facility, waiting to be interviewed to see whether or not they have to register as a superpower. I came into this game with a story prepared that they were all going to have to go through. So, as we start, you are all sitting in the room. How, uh, who would like to do something first? Oh, the cards I drew, I'm small, twitchy, and spectacular. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I am a, a little person, and I have been traveling all over the world. My superpower is I am super popular. My superpower is super charisma. I am the most popular person in the world to myself. So what would you like to do as you're sitting in this room, it's one large table, several chairs around it, that very sterile government environment. Uh, and there's other people around me. All of your, all of your friends so are here. I'm gonna here. stand up and I'm gonna look around everybody. So I, I know you're all here to see me. Um, I would like to thank you all coming for coming today. And uh, I would like to, to shake each and every one of your hands. Don't touch me. I drew slow, nimble, and dreamy. So I'm obviously the goth kid, because what goth kid isn't slow, nimble, and dreamy? I riddle you this. <laughs> My character, he is all in black, and with pale skin and black lipstick, and he's got like that comb over thing with too much gel in it. And he was attending public school for a while, and he was held back because I got slow. <laughs> I think it means what, doesn't no, matter. Way to interpret that. <laughs> he's he's full on in a leather outfit, uh, like oh, an acrobat, like, like me, like Black Widow, because he is nimble. Um, but he's also dreamy, which goes into his superpower. Anything that he imagines comes to life. Oh, well done. Oh, but cool. you like that. he's blocked this by living a dreary existence as a gothic person. So he limits his imagination by <laughs> hating everything. Is there like a tragic backstory to that? Like he loves you. someone and Dark he imagines histories. a train at the wrong moment? <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Meg Turney. You can catch me on Twitter, at Meg Turney. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Meg Turney. And I am a host for SourceFed, youtube.com slash SourceFed, and SourceFed Nerd, youtube.com slash SourceFed Nerd. All that mouthful aside, I'm really excited to be on the show. Seven I don't have ago. time for your evil character. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Oh. Because oh. I drew observant, overwhelmed, and strong. So I'm like the like class president type. But I've got this superpower, it goes with the observant thing here, that I have super hearing and also x-ray vision. So oh. while you're all introducing yourself to one another, I'm gonna try and look through the walls to see if there are any government spies listening to what we're, we're doing here. Oh, very good. Ooh. Well, this will be our first challenge rating. All right, so you are observant. A basic challenge rating is a four. Mm. That's what a basic challenge is. It can go from one to six, with four being the average. You are observant, makes it easier. You need to flip a card with a number three on it because it is easier for you. So go ahead and flip a card. Hey, yeah, two. Ooh. Does that mean I, I, I beat it or no? 
No, it means you fail. You have to have a three or higher. Oh, I needed a three or higher. I thought it, the uh, card needed to be like three. Oh, okay, uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Damn it. <laughs> Objection. The Michael other Ryan fun here. thing about this game is that it does have an adjective on it. You got stiff. All right. Is there a way you can apply that adjective to why you didn't succeed? I think so. I think I tried to like listen through the wall, but then I got all nervous about the people around me, and it toned, tuned down my power. My power didn't work. <laughs> so um, I actually have a very interesting right. character, and here is something that can actually happen. You can get uh, cards that don't quite agree with each other. I drew adventurous, fearless, and relaxed. Okay. My superpower is actually that um, I can change somebody's emotion at like the snap of a finger. Like I can just, you know, you are now, you're now angry at this person for whatever reason, or you're now, you know, super generous, so you're gonna give me everything that I want. So that's why I'm relaxed and I'm completely fearless. You're a vampire stuff, from Because I know blood. I can control everybody around me. I drew, um, I drew silly because why wouldn't I? <laughs> Look at him prance. I know they're gonna be prance with my helmet of lamp. Um, <laughs> and well armed and expendable, which that may suck oh. later on. Oh. I can make this work. I'll just be one of those guys who runs in with a bunch of guns, but hopefully doesn't die because I may metagame it a bit to not die a bunch. So my superpower, I'm like uh, like wanted, like James McAvoy. Like I'm really good with guns, even though I'm dressed like Michael Fassbender. Well, let me go get my sunglasses because that's part of the thing. Hi everybody, I'm Michael Fassbender. You may have seen me in such films as X-Men First Class, which is a superhero movie, and various other ones, which aren't. So all of you have got, like all of you know each other from school. And as you are sitting there over the loudspeaker, a voice comes in and it tells you, please sit, quiet, uh, sit quietly and calmly. We will be with you uh, shortly. Thank you for your interest in the governmental superhero program. You're not my real dad, and you never will be. All right, Guns. I'm gonna walk up to the attendant standing there. You want to let me in. They already want to register me as, as, as having superpowers. You don't even need to think about it. Use my charismatic superpower. Use your charismatic superpower. Uh, because you are spectacular, you need a three or higher. Small doesn't help me. Small does not help you. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> I have a three. Old. <laughs> I, I use the oldest trick in the book. Oh! oh. Prostitution. Sleep I sleep with them. <laughs> Kaplow! I would like to say that I am also strong, so I'd like to try and kick the guard's ass. All right, oh, if you would like to. Right there. All right, well, at this point, it is now an NPC that you guys are going to interact with, so I'm going to pick one card, because he is a minion for his character. He is complicated. <laughs> He's got a lot going on right now, guys. All right. They think they've outsmarted me, but they haven't. I have bad guys ready to go. <laughs> he is complicated and you are strong. Yes. So due to yeah, you being strong, it knocks it down to a three. Due to him dealing with many home issues, it knocks it down to a two. You have to get a two or higher to whoop this guy's ass. hi -ya! Two! Oh yeah. It get pretty complicated and my clothes got a little disheveled. <laughs> but I still kicked his ass, so I'm gonna waltz right out of that room. All right, so uh, she just, she whooped the guard's ass and left. What are you guys doing? Have you seen Meg and I? Dude, we're like sisters, okay? I'm gonna take that little bit of a chance that we're gonna have a good time. I'm a trendsetter in this game because I'm really like strong and independent and as the president of the student council, you really have to be Fearless. I'm seeing these other people leave, and what do Recycle gothic people folks. do? What other people do? <laughs> no, they don't. And they are against the establishment, so I'm gonna take off. All right, Xander leaves as well, leaving you two in the room. So they told us to wait here. We weren't in any duress, but duress? I want to be part of a team. Mm. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go. <laughs> Brian leaves. We're just And shape. I say, well, yeah, you guys left. That's. Obviously what I told you to do. <laughs> I might not actually have any superpowers. They're gonna leave apparently. It was not an option that I had in mind. And out the door they're walking, right as I'm rewriting the story in my head. You guys get outside the room and an alarm starts to go off. Uh, and you start to hear the sound of military boots running down the hallway, click, 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 because they're wearing high-heeled boots, click, 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 click. I imagine some grease on the floor. Obviously, my brilliant idea is to imagine grease. So everybody slips and falls, because I live in a cartoon world. See how well you do. I, Dude, you, you, like you are dreamy, like, so yes. it will be a three You're like, for you. like Realm from Final Fantasy VI, I think. I, I just really the like chick that. chick that does 
drawings. Four. I'm melodramatic about it. <laughs> <laughs> Greased men in a hallway. That's what I'm all about. They don't have to be men. Swoosh. Goth kid stands in the hallway, does major gesture, la, 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 la. And, and, then you, and then you hear clop, clop, clop. Oh God! Oh Terry! <laughs> and everybody Terry, no. falls. I'd like to use my X-ray vision to Who's try Terry? and find the guys? alarm box to turn off. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so, so it's going to be a three because you are observant. Oh, you are. I need more to try. Yeah. Three. Demanding. <laughs> I demand to know what damn room is. I use my x-ray vision to see the alarm box and it's pretty far away, but I think we can maybe convince some people along the way with some of my friends' superpowers to help us deactivate the alarm. You or may continue on your journey however you'd like to go. Lead me, Meg. Go toward the, we should go toward the alarm box, right? Hell okay. yeah. So let's go toward the alarm box. Let's. Right. As you move through the alarm box, you encounter not one, boom, not two, boom, but three Eight. armed guards. Oh shit, one of them's really rich. One is athletic. Like Tony Stark. One is ineffective. Uh-huh. Like and that. one is wealthy. <laughs> I mean, Tony Stark <laughs> is wealthy. He's athletic too, but he's wealthy is what I meant. Right. Well, here's the thing. I'm strong, so I'm going to go up against the athletic one, and I'm strong Ooh. as a six, and she's only strong as a four. Right. You're strong this or strength, if I were using the actual English language, <laughs> <laughs> it Who takes your uh, difficulty class down to a three. However, this guard's athleticism mm. <laughs> <laughs> works it back up to a four, so it's a straight four. four. So flip Two. a card. All right. See if you can take yeah. this person down. Yeah! Yeah. Kapow! You should go for somebody because you're well armed and you yeah, actually dude, have to Yeah, dude, I'm gonna shoot ineffective guy. I'm gonna like go whip one of the bullets like all right. I'm just Look the guy from Wanted. Wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy from the comic of Wanted. I'm gonna shoot someone with a little whoop, bullets curved around the corner kind of bit. See you do something better. I'm, I quietly, I have a silencer on my gun. I, I, I have a three. All right, so yes, you are very quick and quiet about shoot. it. You shoot that guy and you kill him. Oh, okay. wait, shit. I actually I don't want to do any of that because <laughs> why are we here because they wanted us yeah, here. Yeah, no. Why yeah, are we, we doing we this? We really screwed ourselves by not saying that. <laughs> yeah. Can't we all just get along? I'm, I'm using my superpower to uh, to convince this guy to actually help us out so that we can. Okay, you know, and because you are relaxed, and fearless, it drops it down to a two, even though he's pointing a gun at you yeah, well, with just money you. sticking out of his bulletproof <laughs> vest. I'm five. I am cute. I'm adorable. Yes, so are. I just go, you really want to shoot me? Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> My lipstick okay? This guy starts leading you down the hallway. He leads you down the hallway, um, and you come across. This is actually our first uh, upper level person. You find a oh, lieutenant. Oh, oh. An upper level NPC has two cards. Oh, Whoa! No. Ooh, this is, holy shit! This upper uh, upper He's level NPC is fierce and wise. It's Tyra Banks. <laughs> Officer Tyra. Okay. I'm gonna go up to him. I'm gonna say. Look at all of us. You don't want to fight all of us. It'd be the smartest for you. Just walk away. All right, you are fa spectacular. Yeah. So it does go up one, making it a three. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not as intimidating. I'm small. Okay. Oh, I can I can help make him scared. Oh, well, uh, maybe. Let's see. Okay. So you're not intimidating, and you are spectacular. That drops down to a two. However, he is fierce and wise. Takes it back to a four. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Six. Zam. Uh, <laughs> this guy looks at you and goes like. Okay, well maybe I you do have a, you have an escort. So, uh, wealthy guy. All right. <laughs> uh, as you slowly build a party of randomly, <laughs> gay charisma characters. This is a friggin' Bioware game. You guys are just like, you're on my team now. You're on my I team now. Fallout. Just gather everyone yeah. you can. I enjoy that Meg is sitting here looking at me like, there's a game happening. What's going on? <laughs> Could we get these people to shut up? Please? Thanks. <laughs> Maybe you don't Is judge. it so true that I'm type A? I'm like, excuse me, I believe the rules state the bullshit should stop. <laughs> As you walk down the hallway with the alarm going off and everything, you reach, because <laughs> um, I'm Professor Xavier, uh, you reach uh, the bi a big double door. All right, and the door is actually broken. Both doors are broken down. <gasps> okay. And you hear the sound of a struggle inside. Oh, this was no. our place. Oh, that's kinky. Ooh, before we go oh, inside, I'd like to use my x-ray vision to see who's fighting in there. You oh. should definitely use your x-ray oh, vision yeah. to look through an open door. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him around the corner or something. <laughs> that 
Everyone's vodka in my drink. There's Everclear in my drink. All right. If you would like to look through the wall before you a enter the door, you may. I'm Thank sorry, you. I was so rude. I was just, I was, I would like to be cautious. There could yeah. be a super villain in there. So what do you Accurate. have in that you have? Like an observant. Strong observant, and what's your third overwhelmed. one? Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a straight four. Observant drops it to a three, but this is extremely overwhelming, taking it back up to a four. <gasps> Ooh, ooh, I yeah. use the internet. So you look inside and you see that the general is currently in a fist fight fist with a because why wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, he is in a fist fight with a uh, floating supervillain with a large billowy cape. Dun, 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 dun. This is the greatest supervillain that I have ever created for a game of short order heroes. When you have a major NPC, you draw three cards for this major NPC. Uh, the ones I have drawn, not that they know this yet, but I'll let you guys know, are foolish, distinguished, and heartless. Oh. Appropriate for a supervillain. Can I send Lieutenant Tyra <laughs> Binks into the fray to distract the supervillain? Um, yeah, you can try to convince Lieutenant Tyra to do that. Yes. Go, Tyra. Yes! Great. Huh? Greedy! Because I don't want to go in there, so I'm sending Tyra in first because I'm very greedy. <laughs> you want all the victory for yourself. <laughs> Uh, great, and so Tyra runs in, and as she does, you hear the sound of lightning, like the crackling of electricity, mm. as Tyra is thrown back out into the no! hallway in like that twitchy, crispy, I just got hit by a lot of lightning, oh, no. um, and I'm not Luke Skywalker, so I'm gonna die. <laughs> Lieutenant Tyra just died, and I feel partially responsible because I sent her in. Mostly responsible because I sent her in. I'm so going excited. to imagine yeah. rubber suits for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> rubber suits. I feel so grounded. I have Maybe. already. All I know is as you were doing that, I was thinking rubber sole shoes, rubber sole shoes. But I got shoes. full on suit. You did. I'm ready. It's gonna, it's gonna so, get warm. Each and every one of oh, uh, Maybe. you have to flip. Um, go ahead, and it's gonna be a three because that is in your superpower. Three! Young! Yes. We get suits that are too small for us, but they still work. <laughs> you are young, so not only are they suits that are too small, but they're basically just scuba suits. You're welcome. Basically, she doesn't do a maniacal laugh. She turns and sees six student, or five students in full body condoms and loses her shit. <laughs> right. uh, she starts to come at you guys. What are you gonna do? She's charging up the lightning. Okay, well, I'm strong, so okay. I'm gonna try and tackle her. All right, go for it. Um, it's gonna be a three, because she doesn't really have anything to battle that. Yes! Ooh. I do like a little heel click mid-air and then I tackle her with so my So you got power. jauntiness, you tackle her to the ground. It is in fact so high that as you tackle her, she hits her head on a console behind her. The electricity from her body flows into the console and electrocutes her, but luckily, you're wearing a full body rubber suit. <laughs> and that's how science works. So how, how hurt is she? She dead. Oh! <laughs> I just tackled the super villain to win and electrocute herself, and I got my rubber suit on, which looked amazing. And it feels really good because if I'd probably just stayed in the room, everything would have been fine, but it feels better to have electrocuted a super villain in the process. At that time, they succeeded in stopping the super villain. We're gonna toss it over to Kelly to learn about our very special drink, the origin story. Oh, yeah. It's a superhero reference. Hey, everybody. We are making tonight the origin story. Mm -hmm. And my twin is here, ah! Meg Turney. Hi. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna need for this one, start with a glass uh, half full with ice or so. Um, and then we're gonna take um, any red energy drink. I've found that a like pomegranate or a fruit punch is really good with this drink. So go ahead and open that. You got it. I love the sound of that. Such a sexy sound. And about halfway or so, perfect. And then we're gonna take about three ounces of tequila, which is that one, yes. <laughs> now I just didn't know what you were gonna say next. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, using happen. my super strength. Hey yeah. <laughs> okay, so how much? About a full shot glass of that, which is two ounces, and then another ounce after that, which is a half. You got it. So does the table. <laughs> the table's got it. Very nice. Done. And then here's the cool part. Uh, since, you know, like Captain America's coming out and all like the red, white, and blue stuff, it's gonna be all red, white, and blue. <laughs> How much of this? About two ounces. So about a shot so glass. So about full shot glass. Oh. And then right. what you can do for this to separate it is you take this spoon. Like, or yes. like, yeah, your own spoon. I own. watched her do it in practice and it looked really good, so if it looks crappy, <laughs> it's my fault. Just keep it low to the ground on that. Like this? Mm-hmm. And then pour it over top. Oh, too fast. 
Oh, you're doing enough, fine. Just enough. And Nailed it. it. I know, it's really <laughs> cool. It's really pretty. It is really pretty. Yours were a little bit more separated, which was cooler, but that's all right. <laughs> and it kind of just tastes like a tangy margarita. It's actually very good. Would you like to try it here? Yeah, let's do it. It'll be very orangey. <laughs> it tastes like alcohol. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, when you mix it up, too, it's a little better. But... Like the tequila reminds me of college. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's origin story. It's an origin story of bad ideas. But that and one time memories. you made a bad decision. <laughs> But yeah, there you go. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, what's that? <laughs> now it's time for our second game, Super Fight. If you want to learn more about this game, check out superfightgame.com. This card game is a lot like Cards Against Humanity, where the, the turn goes around where each person's a referee, and they get to choose who wins the round. That referee gets to flip a white card. That white card is the supervillain and then they flip two black cards, and those are the powers. And then it goes around and each person lays a white card from their hand, and that is their hero. I have Gandhi, who wins everything. And then I lay down one black card to be the power. I have a bionic Gandhi. But here's where it gets interesting. The person to your left then plays a black card from their hand, so they can add a strength or a weakness to try to change your character so, they, so it makes them a little more difficult to beat the villain. So yes. Sanders next to me, your bionic Gandhi is now narcoleptic. I think it should still win. Uh, but then it goes around the table, and each person plays their hero, and we try to mess with, their, with all of their heroes. The referee then decides who wins. The game ends whenever you want it to end. The person with the most trophies wins the game. Now it's time for a super fight! Arr. Your villain is... a pterodactyl. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking Not at black cards. Black cards? Just kidding, black I didn't see it. You, no, of course you didn't. The pterodactyl is super hearing, <gasps> and there's a hundred wow. super hearing pterodactyls. Oh. Good luck, go. Meg! Oh, good <laughs> luck. <laughs> no, but uh, that's okay. okay. Because I'm gonna fight the pterodactyls with meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> meatloaf again. Meatloaf is six inches tall. So he can get in the pterodactyl's brains and scramble them. Okay. Too bad your meatloaf can't concentrate to get to be eaten by the pterodactyl because it can't stop laughing. Whammy! You can beat anything. I'm playing to the masses here. Oh God. <laughs> the doctor. Oh God. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Internet. But not only one, but ten of them. Too bad all of the doctors are only six inches tall. Yeah. <laughs> but the, like loaf. the doctor, they have the screwdriver oh. thing. <laughs> that, that's all right, well, you it. just lost all the cred you got for playing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Captain Hammer. I don't need to know about no screwdriver. So far, so far, I've got a hundred pterodactyls against six inch meatloaf and six inch doctor. <laughs> so what better to fight against a dinosaur than the a proponent for creationism, George W. Bush. Oh, George so, W. In order to shoot them all in the face, that was Dick Cheney, but let's let's be real here. <laughs> he is in a hot air balloon to fight the pterodactyls. Oh, he's Unfortunately, like, he's not going to stay in that hot air balloon very long because we all know how coordinated he is, and he's wearing spring shoes. Oh no! <laughs> I, I say that these are just in fashion. Political yes. springs. You, you would. would say that. Tyra Banks isn't in this round. Okay? <laughs> If there's one person in the world who can outsmart giant monsters, it is Hermione. Oh. Oh. Especially because, even though they may have super hearing, she is a camouflage expert. Wow. I vote for Emma Watson. Kevin keeps getting the good cards. <laughs> Bring it, kids. This one's for me. There are 50 of Emma Watson. <laughs> I've made 50 Emma Watsons right now. You can thank me later, world. But for the time being, I'll be busy. You know, being busy. I have a spider. <laughs> <laughs> that has got super jump. And oh, Meg, oh, Meg no. you may stop his super jumping spider. No? Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. that's true, because I forgot Kelly was on the yeah, play. Yeah, because Kelly played the villain, so you get to play on Ryan. Oh, I get to play on him. Oh, well, the, the problem with your super jumping spider is it has vertigo, so it's <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Kelly, 
Superheroes. What defeats your pterodactyl? You know what defeats my pterodactyl? I gotta go with my homegirl, Miss Hermione. No! Oh! Bermo! The, you are fighting a boy band. Bum, ba, da, da. Yay, my favorite. This boy band is unaffected by impact, and they are armed with a long electrified whip. Oh. Ooh. I am everyone at Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> Which includes all the bands that Jimmy Kimmel made up. <laughs> I also, they, sorry, they also shoot lightning. Good luck oh. trying to control it with your stick thing, whip thing. Except they took this new drug. Everyone. And now everyone at has Burning Man. brain freeze <laughs> and can't remember how to shoot lightning. Lightning's just going all over the place, man. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, fine. All right, okay. Right. Kale. All right, so Kale. you know, boy band who uh, who's unaffected Ooh. by impact. Well, you know, obviously uh, the the people who have made the least impact on the music world whatsoever is Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Nickelback's a shitty band. Stop denying it. We're in a blimp, <laughs> so you can't reach us. So I'll we're gonna just shout our repeated music at you. That's a bummer. I because. swear to God. Oh God, die. yes. Meg, take because him down. Take down Nickelback. Your entire band Except is tickets. made of scarves, so I don't think they're going to be singing or flying any blimps. Nickelback is not Rufus Wainwright. <laughs> so All right. hipster. So, Meg, are you fighting a boy band with? I'm, a I'm hipster, fighting Nickelback. with the Alanis in the yellow sweater. Oh. Ooh. All right. A very specific Alanis. Oh, Thank you. She's from that episode You live video. and you learn, if you will. <laughs> Um, it is ironic. We and wow. <laughs> Thank you. I went yeah. there. It was not about uh, Dave Couillet. I know it was a jagged little pill to swallow. Okay. I'm <laughs> oh, she made references. Meg is pulling out Alanis Morissette references left and right. Meg, sweetie, I'm the reference bot on the show. Why don't you let me take this one? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And she shoots laughing gas because if there's anything a boy band is, it's insecure and they don't like people laughing at them. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that you can lay down whatever cards you want. She made that many Alanis Morissette references. She does Come not on, win. Oh my god! I do not <laughs> win. I really feel like Alanis Morissette was underappreciated this round. I did not know that she was not appreciated in this group, and I really felt like she could have been effective against the boy band. And I really liked my puns. I thought my puns were funny. I have a celebrity talk. <laughs> 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 that can control their minds. Oh. Ooh. To bring them under their control. Pippa Middleton. To take all of the teen girls and bring them onto their side. Okay. Ah! Their army. All right. Well, I mean, it's too bad that we have to fight this boy band because that celebutante is a pacifist. Ooh. Ooh. I'm the pacifist, but, that, but they aren't. That's true. I can control yeah, their that's minds. True. Yeah, but you can't fight and you can't win. I don't need to fight if I make them fight. Peace. These are all very, very good, and this is the very, very last one. I have to go with uh, the celebutant who controls minds. Boss! Oh, because yeah, even yeah. though she is a pacifist, they're still controlling the minds of others. Uh, so, very yeah. good. That Easy brings us wait. to the end. I won! Yeah! <laughs> I won! Take that, everybody! All you guys that are drunk out there, whatever, because I won! Charles Xavier, here we go! So we're gonna go on to my favorite section of the show. Welcome to the <laughs> Table Timbers! This is the portion of the show where I give out awards uh, based on memorable moments of the show that may have tipped the scales of the game in one way or the other. Ooh. Now, this is our superhero themed episode, so all of our table tippers are references to superheroes. No way. We are, are going to start, as always, with our drunkest award. Our drunkest award tonight go, is called Hulk Trashed. <laughs> and the Hulk Trashed Award is going to my good friend, Ryan Shrewsbury! Yeah. Yeah. Good. Stop touching me. My boss can defeat absolutely anybody. Don't tell me to do things. We're gonna do the Short Order Hero Awards first. Um, first off is the award I Am Iron Man for the ballsiest moves, all right? And that is going to go to... Meg! Yeah. Yeah. During so Short Order Hero, she led the fight. She pushed through and she kept people going and she also <laughs> murdered her principal who happened yeah. to be a supervillain. I just killed the suit. Wait, did I kill him? Oh yeah, I did it. I just tackled Princess Vic- no, Princess Vic- <laughs> The final award that we're gonna do is called the Shut Up Webhead Award for the person who tried so hard to have so many witty one-liners. Because he just kept trying, I'm gonna give that to my friend Ryan! Hey! Uh, Magneto things. 
And you know what? Just because we can, we're gonna go to the beginning. We're gonna give out the reboot award. Pretend like we didn't give any of these awards, and I'm gonna give the reboot award to Kelly. Oh! <laughs> because you do that from time to time with comics, you reboot them. Kapow! So, thank you very much for watching yeah. Under the Table. Please, please, please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. Also, and as always, if you like the games we play here, are in the Southern California area, check out The Game Ogre at thegameogre.com. Thank you very much to our special guest, Meg. Yay! Yay! I hope you guys had fun. I know we did. So make sure that you drink responsibly and have a great game night. Good night, everybody! Good night, guys. Good night, guys.